I'm Vanessa Rugg. Welcome back to the Ebola Bivouac. I'm here with big boy, my Defender 90, and we are here in the dark for the next event in the calendar. So this is Track Rod. We are up north in the UK, and the first stage of this event is actually by night. So Bowler and the team have kitted out my car with some day maker lights, which is going to be essential. When you've ridden a bike, which I often do, or driven a car at night, you realize that it's a very, very different environment. Your vanishing point, your vision, what you're seeing all around you massively changes. And this is going to be the first time I've ever been in a big car off-road at night. So I'm pretty excited. But as we know with the Bowler Experience program, it's all about building our driver profile. This has taken me from just a few months ago, the first time of ever getting into a rally car, through to getting my bars test, doing my first gravel rally hill events, and now it's time to get in at night. I'm feeling a bit nervous. We've had a bit of rain this evening, so it's gonna be slippery. So let's do this. That was emotional. <laughs> I'm still smiling. I am driving a bowler through forests on a Friday night. Absolutely epic. There's, there were spectators everywhere and they all have flashes and cameras, which is just really intense. Anyway, we made it to the end. We didn't crash. We learned a lot. We're still smiling and it was one stage of six over the weekend. It is morning in the bivouac here with Bola. Now there are years of experience of bivouac life, including desert rallies, so you can see a pretty impressive setup. I've of course got my cup of tea. We've got six cars here in this race, but sometimes you get upwards of 18 cars all competing in the Defender Series, which is pretty exciting. We can see the guys are working on the cars already. You've got the spares, the kit box. The night race was definitely a bit of a learning curve. It was dark, dramatic, emotional, and today I'm going to be going into it with positive energy. Chris and I are going to be working as a team and aiming to keep it smooth, breaking late, breaking hard, accelerating out. It's going to be a good day. That big inflatable thing behind me is a very good sign because it means that we are safely at the end of the final stage. It has been a proper roller coaster of emotion weekend, really. I feel like last night with the bit of the hiccups kind of hit me rock bottom, confidence went, and today we've slowly basically been building it back up. What it's definitely made me realize is how important team is in this sport. Now, it's not just between the driver and the co-pilot, it's also the mechanics, the support network, the marshals. There's so much that goes into making these events happen. But this weekend, it's really been an emphasis on the relationship between myself and Chris, the co-pilot, working together. When he's throwing a fast right at me, I have to trust keeping that foot flat on the pedal. It's been an absolutely incredible event. Yet another event in the Defender series, putting me through different environments, different experiences, building my knowledge, training. And thankfully, I'm coming out of the weekend feeling really happy, confident, like I've learned something and ready to take on the next challenge. I'm Vanessa Ruck, the girl on a bike, the girl with a bowler. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. Epic weekend. <laughs>